Before the show Andor began airing, we'd been told that Cassian Andor's homeworld was Fest. In the Rogue One Visual Dictionary, his background page states that he comes from the planet Fest, growing up in the wilds of the Outer Rim and coming of age fighting against the Republic. His father had been killed at the Academy on the planet Karida, protesting against the expansion of Republic militarism. While Cassian wasn't an official Separatist, he was a part of an insurrectionist cell that was supported by the Separatists. It seems Cassian wasn't too involved in the fighting, as, according to the book, he merely threw rocks and bottles at Republic walkers and clone troopers. Furthermore, the book states that Cassian was recruited into the Rebellion by General Draven, one of the head leaders of the Alliance's intelligence branch. Now, in the Andor show, we've seen some slight adjustments from this backstory. One of the first things we find out is that Andor is from a planet called Canari, and that he was an orphan. He was a part of a tribe of children that had been surviving in the wilds on their own. When a Republic ship with Separatist crew members crashed onto the planet, Cassian went with the tribe to investigate, but upon inspecting the insides of the ship, he was taken in by two people who had likely caused the ship to crash in the first place. These two people would then raise Cassian as their own. This greatly differs from the visual dictionary, but one of the cool things about this show is its subtle nod to this pre-existing information. Rather than blatantly contradicting the book, they found a way to make this new story from the show fit in with the old story from the visual dictionary. Cassian's adoptive mother mentions that they've always listed Cassian's true homeworld as Fest when he was growing up, so that no one would know he was actually from Kinari. So, while his homeworld being listed as Fest in the book differs from what's shown in Andor, the fact that they still found a way to contextualize it with the show is pretty awesome. However, there is also the difference regarding where his father had been killed. In the Visual Dictionary, it was said that Cassian's father was killed on the planet Karida, but in the show, we find out it was on the planet Ferrix. However, the reasoning behind his father's death is still the same. The book says that his father was killed protesting for a public military expansionism, and in the show, he was blamed for doing exactly that, even though we know he was actually trying to stop the protest. Another cool nod to the book, but it's obviously not the same thing. The book said he died on Karita, but now that we know that the book has intentionally misleading information, I think that we have the premises to say that Cassian's biographical information, as it is stated in the Visual Dictionary, is supposed to be that way. It is supposed to be incorrect. It is an in-universe red herring. Cassian is a spy in the Alliance, and he has a past that needs to be hidden from the Empire, so any information about him has been altered to hide his identity, which we know that Cassian had gone by many identities, both in the show and during his time in the Alliance. So, while Cassian's adoptive father was actually killed on Ferrix, the false information used to hide his past states that his father was killed on Karida instead. Another thing to also note is that Cassian was mentioned in the book to have been in a Separatist-backed insurrection cell that fought against the clone army. We know that he for sure fought back against them after his adoptive father was killed, but this was when he was clearly in his teenage years, or maybe pre-teen years. In the Rogue One movie, Cassian says that he has been in this fight since he was six years old. And the Star Wars website says that Cassian was taken from the planet Canari at the age of nine. This would mean that Cassian was involved in the fight for three years prior to his adoptive parents taking him from Canari. This is where the real theorizing begins, because for Cassian's statement about being in the fight since he was six years old to be true, he would have had to be fighting against the Republic since before we saw him in the show. 
This could possibly explain why he was so repulsed by and angry at the Republic technology in the ship that crashed on the planet. Before the ship had crashed, Cassian had been involved in fighting against the Republic on Canari before then. That could also explain why the mining site on the planet that we saw had such advanced technology compared to the tribe of surviving children. It could have been a Republic dig site. Furthermore, this could actually tie back into the information about where Cassian's father died, his biological father. We saw that the tribe of children were orphans, or were very likely orphans anyway, and we can assume that all of their parents died in whatever the mining incident on Canari was. But what if their parents had all died fighting back against the Republic? What if they were all members of the Separatist cell, and their parents were killed by the Republic army? Maybe Cassian's biological father was actually killed on Carita, like it says in the book. Finally, the book says that General Draven was the one who recruited Cassian into the rebellion, while in the show we see that Luthen was the one who took him in. I think that can be easily explained. While Luthen is the one who initially introduces Cassian to the Greater Rebellion, Draven is the one who officially inducts Cassian, which is probably just something that we haven't seen yet. I'm looking forward to season 2 of this show at the very least. The show is amazing in my opinion, but I'm really looking forward to learning more about Canari. I don't think that it needs to be explained at this point in the show's storytelling, but it's information that I'd love to know regardless. The continuity junkie in me would like to know. But that's all I have to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you enjoyed Andor. Season 2 can't get here soon enough.